guys, it's Malika again. Welcome back. So today's video, I want to share with you guys what my first impression and what my thoughts on the Lights Lacquer. And these are my first collection from them and this is my first time trying them. So I want to share with you guys what my thought on these and also the swatches and whether or not they're worth the price. So if you are interested in that, then please keep on watching. Alright, like I said, this is my first collection from them to begin with. I've never tried anything from her brand before, Kathleen Light. So, since the original brand and also this new brand right here, the Lights Lacquer, I have never tried her polishes before, so I do not know what to expect. But I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I'm really super excited to try this. So, this is their Sweet as Summer collection. So as you can tell, it's a beautiful, vibrant summer color and you get six beautiful shades in here. You got the red, you got the um, like an orangey coral shade and then you got the yellow, the lime green, the blue and then the purple. And then here I also picked up the sticker that came with the collection itself. So this right here, this whole set is supposed to be retail for $57. But if you get this as a bundle right here, you'll get it for $52. Sticker is $7. And then here you got a little code to use for 10% off. And then there's a little note on the back. But I'm like obsessed with this poster right here. It's so vibrant and colorful and I feel like I already have like very colorful nails but I'm about to swatch more colors on my nails. These are gel polish and these are the McCart um, gel polish, the neon gel. Um, I'll have the link to this down below if you guys want to check it out. I couldn't remember if this is McCart or the Awesome Color, which is a system, sister company to McCart. But yeah, that's another story. But let's go ahead and look at these colors and do the swatches together. And then I'll do it on my hands so you guys can actually see the application of this on my actual hands. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I went ahead and removed my gel polish off my nails and also add a coat of this right here. This is from London Town. It's a nail hardener and base coat. So I just apply one coat of this on my nails so my nail doesn't look too beat up <laughs> because they look really dry and nasty at the moment because I have been doing my nails and not giving it enough time to rest. But excuse that. Let's go ahead and swatch this beautiful blue shade right here. It's called Berry and it's so pretty. It looks really pretty. I love the packaging. It's so simple but yet very elegant and I love the matte black cap right here. So let's go ahead and swatch this shade together. Oh, I love the brush already. Look how nice and brown and big that brush is. This is going to help cover up my nails and make the application a lot easier. Some people like really tiny brushes but I love like big brushes like this. So let's do one coat of this on my pinky. This is kind of a little bit awkward so bear with me guys. So I think that's pretty decent. We'll go in with another coat, but it's pretty opaque in the first coat right there. It has a beautiful shine. And I don't know about you guys, but I like the smell of nail polish. So we're going to do one coat of each shade first, and then we'll come back and do a second coat each. So here is the second shade. It's a beautiful purple color called My Jam. So it looks like the purple shade is more like a jelly type of color. So let's go ahead and do the yellow. And this is called Slice of Life.
I'm not really good at doing swatches, can you tell? This one doesn't go on very evenly and it could be just me. So right now it's one one coat. It, does, it doesn't go on evenly, so let's wait to do a second coat and see if I can make it look better. Or maybe just shake it up a little bit, you know? I think I'm going to do that and go over it right now and see if that will go away. We'll let it dry before we go over the third time. You can still see that right there, that gap that wasn't covered. Okay, let's do the green shade because the green shade looks super pretty. This is called Now and Later. Ooh, this is so pretty. It goes on very smoothly, better than the yellow shade for sure. I find that the yellow shade is like harder for me to swatch on camera in general. And I didn't notice I was out of focus, but this is another jelly type consistency compared to the purple shade. So last but not least, we have this beautiful orange shade in the color Who Loves Oranges? Orange Soda. Oranges. So this is Who Loves Orange Soda. Look how pretty that was. Won't be here all day. Alright, let's do this. Oops, that didn't go on evenly. It's my fault. This color is super pretty too. Right? It looks really opaque compared to the yellow, or the green, or the purple. But the blue one definitely the most opaque. So here is one coat of all of these. So let me go ahead and wait a couple minutes and then do a second coat of these. And I'll show you what the nails looks like with second coats. So here are the second coats of each shade. So the most opaque one, definitely the blue one. I love how this and this turn out. Not so great with the yellow shade. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to cover up my nails. As you can see, there's like a bare spot right there and right here. It might be just my application just because I'm not so used to doing an on-camera swatch but the orange shade turned out really pretty so this two shade right here would count this as a jelly type of color and this one definitely more opaque this one definitely more opaque and this is opaque but it's just not going on very smoothly so I'm gonna let this dry and we're probably going to hide this and fix this shade right here with some sticker we're gonna apply some sticker on these but I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit before we put on a sticker and then we'll top coat this. Alright, while we wait for the nails to dry, let's go ahead and swatch this beautiful red shade right here. This is called Cherry Jelly. So yeah, looks like all the shades are more of a jelly shade. This is two coats right here. Surprisingly, this is so pretty. It's like a beautiful jelly red shape. Looks almost prettier than the rest of the colors. Alright, so I think my nails are dry now. Let's go ahead and use some of this sticker. So this sticker right here was retail for $7. 
if you ask me, I think that's quite pricey for this few stickers right here. But let's go ahead and use this to hide all the imperfection that we have on my nails. Is another look to our uh, expensive nail sticker. Ooh, I take that back, guys. There's two sheets in here. So <laughs> it's not too bad if there's two sheet total. Alright guys, so here are my nails with top coats and I use these Sajevi, I think that's the name of the brand of the top coat but here's what they looks like Overall, I think it's just an okay collection in my opinion If you like this type of color and the jelly type of color you might enjoy this collection but for me, I prefer much opaque color and given most of these like this two right here and the red shade the purple the green red shade are more jelly the yellow the blue and the orange are more of a a little bit more opaque shade i'm much of an opaque shade kind of girl so jelly type of color not my thing but if that's your thing you might like it but overall i think this collection is just an okay if you have money to purchase the whole set because it's the whole set is 52 dollars it's kind of pricey, but yeah, if you have the money to spend and if you want to support it, go for it. But for me, in my opinion, I won't miss out if I didn't have this collection, you know. In terms of the sticker itself, I do like the stickers. I think you got good value from this. You probably could use it five or six times before, it got, or before you run out if you use like two or three stickers in each nails like I do. But yeah, so... Those are my overall opinion on the brand in general and these collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, of course, and follow me on Instagram at Simply Savan. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye!